about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. My dear, you are stepping into a new season of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. This is not only you, this is you and your husband. It's a season of reward that is coming. God is looking upon you with favor and with grace. And I declare may that grace rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are five or six people who will start running out please hold them and bring them out gently <sighs> lift up your heads O ye gates 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 bring them out I'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit I made this statement because I just saw a gate, very old gate. It's like it just blasted and it opened. That's why I, I was prophesying that. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. For some of these gates, they have been closed for centuries. They have been closed for decades. Like Jericho, nothing comes out and nothing comes in. But the God of vengeance is opening those gates right now. Please help them so that no one injures themselves. Janet, who's Janet? I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you. Janet, I just saw something come out, like physically, just, um, I, I almost didn't even know that. Just come out of one of you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. The Bible says a curse causeless shall not stand. So if it stands, there is a cause. And if there is a cause, the remedy is the blood. Therefore, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every legal access, I use these people in front as a point of contact, every legal access that the devil has over any life and any destiny that is authorizing oppression by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel, I declare that legal access is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Open your mouth in one minute and declare every legal access that is authorizing oppression by the blood of Jesus, even the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare my release. I declare my release. I announce a jubilee by the spirit of grace. Faith brings me to my jubilee and I declare I announce a jubilee. Someone is praying a financial jubilee, a health jubilee. Hallelujah. Who is Christopher? 
I'm hearing the name Christova. We may not have all the time to just prophesy Christova. Restoration is coming. Christova. Ah, can you imagine? This man, that was his wife, Dale, that was under the anointing. Christova. Who sells phones? Phones like electronics, but I'm saying phone. You sell you sell phone is there someone like that you have like a phone shop I want to pray for the person now please if it's your issue you had the testimony of that gentleman once there's a delay protocol will naturally have to stop you because we have to hurry up when you find that you sell phone you deal with phone gadgets please let me have that person I want to pray for him Christova the Lord is bringing restoration that's what I heard in my spirit restoration two of you the power of God is coming upon you a strange grace is coming upon you for restoration the way God will restore things it will surprise you everyone will receive but two of you the power of God is coming on you in the name of Jesus I declare it so may that mantle rest upon your life let there be restoration supernatural restoration where is that lady that gave that footballer that my footballer lady where is she the lady who came to as she was testifying god had put it in my heart to pray is she here is she around she's a footballer now she should hurry up you are a footballer you should be able to Your life is about to change. Do you believe in miracles? Hmm. Yes, sir. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen, kingmakers don't become kings, but they enthrone and they dethrone. It is by privilege of grace. There is something that is happening here as I'm praying. You will hear testimonies of people like that thing they say, grass, is it grass, grass to grace. My dear, in the name of Jesus, I place an anointing upon you. I'm seeing that the doors of Europe will open for you. Receive that grace. Take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ. As I've prayed for her, let me speak for to, over everyone. Anyone called Mephibosheth, that you are in your lowly estate by reason of certain disadvantages in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that David sends for you. The season has come for your lifting. Oh, thou Mephibosheth, David has sent Ziba to look for you. I stand as a prophetic Ziba in the name of jesus you are sent for by the lion of the tribe of judah even the root of david in the name of jesus christ and david said is there any man of the house of saul that he may dine with me and ziba went to lodeba and brought mephibosheth and he made the sons of ziba to plow the land for him but as for him, he said, you will dine with me here for the rest of your days. God has visited your wife, Christopher. At least I know this one. This is not, it's your turn. Favor. God is going to be connecting you to people of strange influence. I release that grace right now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the gates of this city will open for you in a way that will surprise you. Let this happen even by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, what do you do? Why are they all here? This one at the back, that one with a nose, nose mask. Phones, phone, phone gadgets. Phone gadgets. Yes, Where? Sir. In Dutse. Dutse. Dutse shopping complex. Sir. Okay. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Two months. Yes, sir. Two Amen. months Amen. from now. Amen. Please hear me. Take that grace. Two months from now. My God will turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. 
this is by the spirit i'm not the one doing it is as instructed that the lord puts in my heart and i declare it in the name of jesus and for all of you who have come out here for various reasons there is a man you are a lawyer what is god doing with legal people i'm seeing the lord is bringing restoration this is a legal practitioner in the name of jesus i don't know where that person is but you have lost money you have lost things in the name you don't have to come out please just except i ask you if not the time we may not be able to what do you do huh where i'm a lawyer with, uh, i practice in abuja here, integrity chambers where integrity chambers how long has this been i've been into practice for the past 10 years do you believe in the power of god yes sir you've lost everything yes sir money yes sir. opportunities yes, sir. they defrauded you yes sir. but now god wants to restore you amen do you believe this yes sir. i believe sir Do you know you would think that because the power of god flows through me i should be used to this i'm standing in shock myself as i watch how god turns lives around believe me believe me my friend in the name of jesus i use you as a point of contact every legal practitioner here you've not been rising no clients no open doors fire is coming on you now i'm seeing someone you are in the ushering department and you are a lawyer you are a lady where is that person your doors are opening please just take it don't worry you don't have to god is going to visit you legal practitioner in the name of jesus please don't tell lies make sure are you are you lawyers huh father you have spoken in the name of jesus let that grace rest upon you now let that grace rest upon you now let doors be open for you in the name of jesus christ my friend the one i started praying for in jesus name i pray for you let there be restoration forget about everything you have lost the god of heaven is able to restore if he restored job may he restore you in the name of jesus christ who is Phillips? Phillips. Who is? May God bless you. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. I want to pray for the sick, but am I wasting your time? Phillips, I'm hearing. Please, let's verify so that, you know, sometimes these people just run, whether they are the ones or not. They will come and they will say, by faith. We are people of faith, but let's just make sure that we don't tell lies you can receive by faith that gentleman god wants to turn his life around phillips take it easy take it easy please the ushers are trying they are human beings who so take it easy because if they are tired they will leave you to fall down you may enjoy yourself let's take it easy what do you do my friend and i'm a teacher where i have a cosmetic shop and i'm a professional teacher so I combine the both. Okay, I want to pray for you. Where are they coming out? You are Philips too? All of you? I will pray for you. The one with white, what are you doing? I'm a businessman. Okay, we'll pray. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I don't know what God is doing with ushers. There's one ushering person who will shout now under the anointing. The power of God. I don't know whether it's inside here, whether it's outside. I'm praying for... Every altar. In the name of Jesus, I curse it right now. Hear me? Whatever will not give you rest in the name of jesus may it be laid to rest now may, may it be laid to rest now for all of you you came out here for various reasons i stretch my hands towards you may the power of god rest upon you and everything that has brought retrogression in your life let it come to an end now
let it come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ let it come to an end now in the name of Jesus God bless you the gentleman under the anointing he's blessed in Jesus name hallelujah please don't be embarrassed there I'm seeing one of them I don't know it's like you are up somewhere you are a medical doctor and then one I'm seeing in one of the overflows these two I know there are many medical doctors here but I'm just walking as the Spirit of God is granting me grace because we're going to quickly pray for the sick medical doctor I don't know if um, one of them I know for sure is in one of the overflows and then is there someone like that I want to speak over your life God is changing your life in one of the not outside one of the overflows you are a medical doctor and then someone within this place like somewhere up the balcony not here you're a medical doctor is there someone like that please when you find them let me speak over their lives so that we'll bring this to an end now I don't mean to embarrass you but there's the person I'm seeing is a lady you made your hair you didn't tie it this is what I'm seeing you're a lady you didn't like you pack your hair like this is there someone like that medical doctor see how many doctors we have here that means we shouldn't be sick spiritually and medically hallelujah father I was going to say something just escaped my mind now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God you, 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 you would imagine that these sincere people some of them please I'm not insulting you eh? I'm not insulting you but you can't imagine the things I'm seeing as I'm looking here these are sincere people who love the Lord attending to other people and yet for some of them there are all kinds of embargoes just holding them down in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare right now there's one of you there is such fire that is coming on you right now as I'm speaking in the name of Jesus release them now by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare freedom for you in the name of Jesus you have been applying to go abroad applying to go abroad applying to go abroad it's like this spirit will not let it happen you have not even gone past the first stage and it's not like you are lazy something just happens and it does not even work even before scholarships and now everything is over you were not even given in the name of jesus i declare by the power of the holy spirit a change of story comes for you now a change of story comes for you now a change of story comes for you now in the name of jesus hallelujah the lord is ministering to me to do something different please bring out your prayer request don't submit it just bring it out you are going to pray holding it it's a good thing to walk with the Holy Spirit and not just to be mechanical please bring out your prayer request if you've not written you may want to write it down I'm not a prophet of doom and usually I would not come to say this in the open but let's pray i'm seeing a major person in the judiciary go to be with the lord just like that and they say this person has gone i'm not a prophet of doom but and ordinarily it, it would not even profit me to say anything sometimes god just puts it in your heart and he has been insisting i've been struggling with it to say it but we have to pray there are some things that the prayer now is to help the people so that they put their houses in order but I'm seeing someone in the judiciary you will hear this happen may the Lord show the family mercy in the name of Jesus Christ and that they put their houses in order 
but this is what God has revealed to me please bring your prayer requests I want you to truly believe that the things that you have written will come to pass some of you you may not have any personal need but you are writing for the sake of others some of you are holding photos in one minute ordinarily I would ask you to bring it here but the Lord just began to put this in my spirit I've not even prayed for the sick and even if we pray and we don't have the time to take testimonies that's fine this is it's not some ritual where people who are led of the spirit hallelujah but in one minute while holding your prayer request I want you to agree with God and say father everything that I've written in the name of Jesus let it become my testimony someone is praying everything I have written everything I have written outside inside you're writing it for yourself those online you're connecting by faith in the name of Jesus I have seen God answer prayers in remarkable ways please pray it's an instruction that God is putting in my spirit if you can mention the things you wrote mention them by faith to be anxious for nothing the Bible says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says to let our requests be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God hallelujah now please hear me I'm going to give a very serious instruction and I want you to listen please listen if you are here and you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb please listen you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb we're going to pray during the program but immediately after the program please I want to meet with you so all those who are here number one be sure you are married and then number two make sure that um, you are serious about what we are saying we are believers we are not idol worshippers so if you if you don't believe just go away but those you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb please after the service I want you to wait I will ask the protocol. you can wait in front here I will ask the protocol to lead you I want to have a word with you your salvation has come in the name of Jesus believe me when I tell you your salvation has come in the name of Jesus now while you are standing please you can pass your request to the last person ushers please let's collect it now let's collect it now who is Samuel a baby Samuel a baby is there someone like that a baby oh huh? your son and so you stand now who else Samuel a baby you too is my friend but even though he's not a baby but this boy is how old is he ah four you are not a baby boy you are my friend because you have smiled at me I will pray for you where eh? how are you are you my friend yes beautiful because you're my friend welfare I don't know where you are going to find cake but make sure this my little boy this boy give him something and bless him huh? in fact except it will create chaos if it will not create chaos and we can do it in the next one minute from one to ten bring all our children here parents if you can do it orderly please don't carry anybody's child who is not your own this is a large house I'm warning now let's obey instructions obedience is better than sacrifice let's celebrate our children as they come this is koinonia future
Is this how you are honoring them? Parents, if they are coming out, hold them. Anyone that cannot walk you, come with them. Jesus loves the little children all the children of the world red brown yellow black and white they are precious in his sight Jesus loves the little children of the world Hallelujah children God bless you eh just behave well don't give your parents headache we're about to pray for you huh some of you at this age you were in a shrine you were not even here so glory to god that we have our children in the house of god i know what i'm saying some of you at this age there was an altar and all kinds of demonic things being done on you it's just in my spirit to pray for these precious children don't belittle them the person whose future you have already seen you've seen it but the one whose future you have not seen only god knows remember what you are learning as an adult is what they are learning as children please if you are coming come quickly parents i'm seeing some other people come we are all going to do it we'll pray this prayer sorry sorry help me please just comfort the children soon we'll have a children's department you see how this is children there has to be a way of managing this so for those of you who are in children ministry get ready you will soon have work in the name of Jesus start start thinking already start planning how are we going to have the best child care system now please stretch your hands wherever you are to these ones and I want you to begin to speak over their lives from the depth of your heart pray like you are praying for your own biological child is someone praying this is part of the miracle service Please cry to the God of heaven. Don't worry if you are holding a child's picture, just lift it. You don't have to come. Just lift it where you are. Please pray. Children, pray to talk to Jesus. Father, we pray for our children. We pray for our children. We pray for our children. We pray for our children in the name of Jesus. These koinonia children will not be lost. Please, someone pray. They will not die before their time in the name of jesus the hand of god is upon them they represent the future of this ministry the future of this vision lord we love them we honor them and we pray that you will bless them satan the lord rebuke you someone rebuke satan the lord rebuke you over the life of these children we separate them from the company of wicked and unreasonable men we separate them from occultism initiations of of infants in the name of jesus we declare they are free 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 from it and if there is any child here that is under any kind of occultic manipulation witchcraft wizardry in the name of jesus we bring them deliverance now we bring them deliverance now we bring them deliverance now I decree and declare I join my faith with everyone here and every parent here and we speak over our children in the name of Jesus prayer number one none of them will die an infant I say it again none of them will die an infant number two everything connected to ancestry whether coming from the east the west the north and the south in the name of Jesus we bring them deliverance now Amen. number three academically we place an anointing upon them may they excel like Daniel Amen. number four as touching the matters of God may they have the encounters of Samuel Amen. even as infants in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. and finally I am praying that every parent here who is alive seeing their children in the name of jesus you will see them as adults Amen. 
you will see them as leaders you will see them as great people in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you and the Lord increase you in Jesus name let's celebrate them as they go please I want you to lay your hands you are trusting God for a healing miracle lay your hands now please I want us to be very orderly with the children make sure that they go back to their parents or their loved ones please let's let's make sure that they go children can run around and play but make sure that they go especially for the, the very small ones let's make sure that they return back please lay your hands I want to pray some of you this is a major reason why you came here tonight because of our time we may not I'm not sure that we may have the time to take testimonies tonight because um, I, I don't want to stretch us too long we can leave all the testimonies for the next week but I want you to lay your hands there why do we pray for the sick because there is a relationship between sickness and death there is a strong relationship between sickness and death now please if you are here and you came with a sick person you can stand in for them by faith or if you are following from a hospital there are several hospitals that connect to the miracle services they have their patients trusting God and we've heard marvelous testimonies of miracles whether it is high blood pressure whether it is hepatitis HIV whatever it is just lay your hands I want to pray for you right now I have experienced the healing power of Jesus in my own life so I know that he heals I know that he, he heals just lay your hands there no one Jesus there is no one darling there is no one Jesus there is no one else like him no one Jesus there is no one darling there is no one For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no There is a man you are not in here but you are suffering from prostrate he's been diagnosed already in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the power of God is coming upon you right now the power of God is coming upon you right now the Lord is showing me a woman your left breast there are multiple lumps there verified you've gone to the hospital in the name of Jesus Christ who is the son of the living God I bring you life right now now I rebuke every spirit I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down and every time I see this this prophetically signifies blood pressure whether high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of Jesus I am praying right now for every and anyone who is here suffering from high blood pressure low blood pressure in Jesus name be healed now God is healing someone with the issue of blood this is a terrible thing sometimes you almost feel dizzy almost like you collapse in the name of Jesus I declare please help them let there be healing for you now let there be healing for you now every blood condition blood condition HIV hepatitis in the name of Jesus I speak over your life be healed now you can bring the request in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen 
I'm seeing someone around, I don't know if it's your armpit area or the side. You have a growth, something that looks like a boil that has come out is so discomforting and is painful in the name of jesus i am praying for you may the power of god rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you in the name of jesus christ eye conditions you're already having cataract glaucoma in the name of jesus or any kind of eye condition you're already seeing things that are not there because of severe, severe pains, water coming out of your eyes, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. There's someone you have from your lumbar vertebra down and then another person you have severe pain just around your back here in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is who is that what's that you are lifting a corset are you the one holding it do you believe in miracles lift it and come you are healed come <laughs> lift it up is it for you how long 20 13. What couldn't you do? I, I couldn't bend. Look I, at me. You, brought, you came here with this. Yes, sir. All the way from Joss. All the way from Joss. Yes, sir. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, bend. Jesus. Check yourself. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at. He's checking himself. This woman too who is this back pain, back pain. Yes. for how long ma for more than 11 years more than 11 years yes even last last month i received injection 242 in this hospital 242 yes and i'm still receiving see here for back L, madam l4 l5 and then down to my leg here, knee. What's, um, now, we didn't plan to take testimonies, but you see, God, God knows that some people need this for their faith. Huh? Madam, 200 and... 243, just until I lost count. Because every day they will give me four, yeah? Then my two hands, they can still see the sign of the... Which I not see, my dear, my leg. That's a, a, it's, it's all right, madam. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. My dear... Usher, place your hand on her back. Father, this is a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, 242 injections. This is, this is demonic. This is not a medical condition. Father, let Jesus be glorified tonight. I decree and declare, be healed now. Madam, look at me. Bend over slowly. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Stand up. Bend again. Bend again. Any pain? Bend again. Look at what is happening to her. Your legs. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Look at me. Lift your leg. No, no, no. Watch what I'm doing. Watch what I'm doing. Do it. Take it easy. Watch what I'm doing. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing to this woman? Now walk, madam. Walk. Try to walk. Just twist while you are walking. Any pain? Look at what is happening to her. My goodness. What is happening to you, madam? Look at. Ah, look at this. Look at this. I'm still seeing, God bless you, madam. I'm still seeing somebody, please forgive me, but this, there is an anointing for bone conditions to heal people. There are some of you who came with crutches, whether outside or where, please, 
I want you to, I, I, my conscience, my heart, I will not be able to sleep knowing that the power of God for this miracle has come. Whether I know somebody was healed outside, I know there are a number of people. Lift it now and walk. Lift it now and walk while we pray. In the name of Jesus, take it easy. We're not, we're not stage managing or faking anything here. This is the power of God walking through people. Walking through people. Please, when you find a miracle, let us know. And then if we can have one or two of them but let me finish the prayer um there's someone it looks like something is stuck around your throat in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you right now by the power of the holy spirit in fact the lord is showing me someone there is a swelling like this is a thyroid you know this um this thing that swells the throat in the name of jesus i don't know who that person is but the power of god is coming upon that person right now don't tell lies make sure you really have such a situation who is the person we're praying right now oh i can see it Look at all the wonderful destinies that the devil wants to trap with this demonic thing. Your own is an attack, eh? Lady number two. I curse that spirit. Out! Now! In the name of Jesus. Father, for your name and for your glory, this demonic thing, I don't care what it is and where it came from, but in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be healed now. Amen. Be healed now. Amen. That the, the spirit behind it is cursed right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. there will be complete healing. Complete healing for you in Jesus' name. I'm still praying for the sick. I remember calling out Samuel a baby before we spoke about the children. I didn't get to pray. Is there a baby called Samuel? Maybe I'll just pray. We may not have time for all of them to come out. But there is, the Lord is asking me to rebuke an attack over a Samuel who is a baby. Some of my dear people, leaders here have their children called Samuel. And any other person here connected in the name of Jesus. There's a miracle that has happened there. Look at this. Let's celebrate Jesus. Are you seeing what the Lord is doing? The lady is even surprised herself. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. You are the covenant keeping God. You are Yahweh. My dear, you came with this. Yes, I did. What happened to you? Well, you were praying, so I no, what happened before now? I woke up one morning and all of a sudden I couldn't look up. If I look up, my neck will hurt so badly. If I look down, my neck will hurt so badly. I was having back pain. I was having neck pain here. I went to the hospital and they recommended this and I've been wearing it since then. How long? For like about a week or two now. Oh, okay. It's just something that happened recently. Yes. Place your hand on your neck. In the name of Jesus, we do not trivialize this miracle. This is the Lord's doing. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Look at me, my dear. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you even by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ perfection for you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know but again the Spirit of God is taking me outside there's someone I don't know what miracle has happened to you outside that's not the overflows now outside in the name of Jesus Christ I, I, I don't know what miracle that is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead I think this is something that has to do with your legs 
from what I'm seeing. In Jesus' name, I am praying for you. Let life, let strength, let vitality rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have been suffering severely from breathing problems. You don't have asthma, yet it acts as though it's asthma. You know, severe breathing problems, breathing problems. I'm praying for the sick. Is there someone like that? The Lord wants to set you free right now. How long has this been? Help a gentleman and a lady who will shout under the anointing now. One day I will take the time to explain to you why these things happen so that you can understand because sometimes when we don't have an understanding it just looks like these are just some what's that please they should take it easy listen let me teach you something in administering miracles don't just get excited to show that the man of God is anointed or the power of God is in the place that you punish and frustrate the people who are remember everything we do is by love so even when the people believe and if they start moving you guide them as they are releasing their faith and the miracle now manifests. That is when you can bring them up to testify. Don't, don't try to embarrass them and put them, you know, under pressure, either because you've lifted their wheelchairs or you've lifted their crutches. We're not pretending this. When a miracle happens, a miracle has happened. It's as simple as that. Are we together now? Breathing problems. Please help them. Three of you, the power of God is coming on you now. Is the spirit of death. After that, I can pray for the rest. This one is the spirit of death. It's just the instruction God is giving me. Three of you, there is an anointing that is coming. That one is, is the manifestation of the spirit of death. You must let them go. Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Now I pray for you. Every wicked oppression affecting you, affecting your breathing, whether in the night or in the day, connected to any medical condition, be healed now. I use this once as a point of contact to pray for everyone. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Lay your hands on your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, it has been there for a long time, but now you must go. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in Jesus' name, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I decree and declare outside all the overflows, inside following online, every situation that you've had. There's someone God is visiting you. You may not come out. You have a baby that is not growing. I don't know what the medical condition is but your baby is not growing and this is a very demonic thing right now in the name of Jesus wherever that parent or that baby is I stretch my hands and I declare life and healing now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus one lady is going to shout under the anointing all I will tell you is that a miracle is happening to your womb that's what is happening to you I don't know who that person is but the Holy Spirit just ministered the power of God is coming on you a miracle is happening your womb 
your womb it is something that medically cannot be corrected but the lord is visiting you now it is something that medically cannot be corrected but the power of god is resting upon you now my god look how many people outside those outside lift your hands i have to pray for you the camera has shown me those outside i'm praying for everyone but i want to speak over those outside those outside whether you are by the roadside whether wherever it is i want you to stand i want to pray for you we pray and trust that god will grant us grace soon to have our own facility in jesus name are you in agreement with me you can see that those who are within the main auditorium are a very minute fraction there are so many people all the overflows following online thousands of people outside those outside we are agreeing with you in the name of jesus christ everything that represents shame and reproach by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare let it be broken from off your life now let it be broken from off your life now now those outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus as loud as you can the power of god is going to come on some of you and that will be my ministration for you and then we'll just pray and do the altar call and wrap up those outside father in the name of jesus even as you have put it in my heart for all the thousands of people outside who have stood in faith in the name of jesus trusting you to visit them i decree and declare lord by that shout let there be an avalanche of your glory your deliverance your power upon every one of them are you ready now those outside just the people outside one two three shout jesus I decree and declare everything that is not of God let it give way right now I release you into the prophetic blessing of the Lord I decree it by the power of the Holy Spirit supernatural miracles over your life in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles over your life in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name stretch your hands over the request i know you prayed for them but please stretch your hands stretch your hands over the requests stretch your hands over the requests thank you thank you father in the name of jesus christ i bow my knees even over these requests there are people trusting God for financial miracles. There are people trusting God for change of stories. Trusting God for the salvation of their loved ones. Lord, they have brought this as an act of faith. I stand by the privilege of priesthood and I declare over this request, may they be answered by fire. May they be answered by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ every human agent who must walk in partnership with the holy spirit to make for answers to this request i compel their ministry over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare that even from tonight let there be a harvest of supernatural results a harvest of supernatural answers a harvest of supernatural testimonies because you believe i declare that you receive it in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and as i would always pray these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ please lift your hands and receive this prophetic blessing every door that has been closed over your life and destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that door be open now may that door be open now 
number two every human vessel who has proposed to help you but for some reason they've not been able to attend to you this week coming in the name of jesus may the lord show you mercy that you receive their help in the name of jesus christ number three everyone trusting god for a job here you've heard the testimonies i declare yet again may my god surprise you every business here by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare that the lord god of heaven will cause you to excel in the name of jesus christ I pray I know that from an economic standpoint it looks like times are very difficult but I want to declare even as you have prayed may the grace for exemption in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you please hear me no one here under the sound of my voice will become a victim of any kidnapping as you go by road as you go by sea as you go by air you are supernaturally protected in the name of jesus and every orchestration of darkness against anyone here you are delivered now those seeking god for promotion i declare let it be yours those seeking god for restoration in families let there be that grace upon you now in the name of jesus christ and i pray as always for your spiritual life this is the highest and the noblest index to measure your success i decree and declare fire like never before upon your prayer life fire like never before upon your word life in the name of jesus christ please hear me if you came here facing any circle of disappointment any circle of disappointment i'm declaring to you this night it comes to a permanent end anything that has left you that should not have left by the power of the prophetic we call it back to your life hear me some of you is not like you are doing bad but sincerely you've not done anything extraordinary for a long time is you can't say you are not doing maybe you are doing poorly but you can't also say you are excelling the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter may that ever brighter grace rest on you that ever brighter grace rest on you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah oh I'm, I'm i just i didn't even notice i'm just spotting choma jesus hallelujah now god bless you my worship team people make sure after choma jesus please let me plead after the grace you people will wait she will pray and bless you this woman you see this is this is 50 years am i right on that yes 50 serving the purposes of god what a lovely woman early uh, i think i don't know what month it was i was with her in oweri it was such a beautiful beautiful meeting so my dear people there is grace for you to receive after the grace hallelujah praise the name of the lord you have celebrated me you have honored me you have seen what god has done in and through my life i want to pray a prayer for no you don't have to kneel or did but please this thing called grace for visibility is not you can't manipulate it it's not about social media if the grace is not on you if you like beg people to see you they will say we are busy i decree and declare whatever has hidden you so that your glory will not be seen by the power that raised christ from the dead in this season find supernatural visibility from america to europe to asia to africa even in nigeria
visibility for your ministry visibility for your family visibility for your business visibility for your products visibility for your business outfit in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here who has the call of God upon his life I declare by reason of your encounter here you will not fail help them you will not fail men women pastors apostles prophets evangelists missionaries receive the engracing for a new season in the name of Jesus I pray for your finances by the power that raised Christ from the dead you shall not beg you shall not beg step into the overflow by the anointing of the spirit you will soak the breast of kings and in their glory you will post yourself in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will multiply you you will not be small he will glorify you you will not be few in the name of Jesus Christ The last prayer point because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I want to pray for you honor is a grace you've heard me say you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon another I pray for you by the privilege of this that we have received in the name of Jesus we have received it from God we have received it through the fathers we have received it through them that sell in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may this mantle rest upon you anywhere you have been despised may that grace bail you out in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the glory wave your hands to Jesus from left to right and tell him thank you Lord we thank you for tonight in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to make the altar call and then we're done There are people here, thank you, you've been standing for long. Thank you for your patience. You may sit for a minute or two. There are people here who need to hand over their lives to Jesus. Please, let's minimize movement so that you allow those who are coming to come. There are people who are saying, Apostle, I have seen the power of God. I've seen the hand of God, but I sincerely need Jesus in my life, even right now. I know that you may see people moving up and down. But please, I'd like you to focus. This call is for your destiny. Two in one. There are those who are saying, I need to make this decision afresh. And there are those who are saying, I need to rededicate my life to Jesus. You belong to any of these categories. We have one minute for you. Very boldly and without shame, with gallancy, leave your seat and come as we appreciate you. Let's honor them as they come. Let's honor them as they come. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? from the main auditorium the balcony all the overflows outside following online come to jesus let's celebrate them as they come i'm counting one to five and then we pray one two if you're coming please run please clear the way for them so that they make it apostle i want to come but i'm not sure if i'm saved i'm not exactly bad but i'm not saved come god bless you join them very quickly so that you can have what the bible calls or what we call the assurance of salvation four young and old please come come to jesus he's able to give you a new beginning and finally five you're coming please rush apostle i'm still thinking about it do i come i want to come but i'm ashamed of my friends i'm ashamed of those who i came with please leave them and come this is a very personal decision amen thank you please may i request thank you for coming may i request that you lift your hands high above your head as a sign of surrender 
all the overflows those who have come out please the same and then following online maybe in your home anywhere i like you to just hello scriptures exalt us from the book of proverbs one more time please say, say my lord son, jesus attend to my sins I have incline thy ears to my words i believe let them not depart from thy eyes God. and keep I them in the midst of thee you died as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to read right now, the blessings thereof Jesus, if you attend Lord to these words life, as well. That you will keep Jesus these words in the midst of, of your heart. That no I matter the circumstance, that Jesus your is eyes my king. are going to be fixed on this word. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share Satan, this message. Hell, be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. Life. And then subscribe to this channel for us and because forever, we have loads of videos I we have loads of, of content that is going to I'm make you again. blessed that is going to set in you on course name. that is going to Keep set you ablaze thank you Father, and don't for these forget ones. to like you have brought them for us by your spirit. thank you the bible declares that as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away in the name of jesus based on your declaration i declare your sins forgiven and i declare that it is a new beginning for you in the mighty name of jesus christ I pray for you that the life of God would find visible expression in your life. I commend you to the word of his grace. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded in righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Let me pray for this gentleman. I rebuke that spirit. You heard his confession. Let him go now. In the name of Jesus, release him by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you very much for this decision. May I please request that you follow the counselors to my right, which is your left. Let's honor them as they go. Celebrate them. Thank you very, very, very much. Hallelujah. Please keep clapping until they go. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.